Welcome to the video guys. So today will be a recipe video. So we are making protein cheesecake, which is delicious. And I made it for my family and they approved it. So I think you guys will like this one too. Um, I need to pick up a few ingredients and so I'll show you what I get and then I'll show you how, how it's done, how to make it. All right, enjoy guys. So first off, I need some Greek yogurt. I've actually been having this every night before I go to bed and I like to mix like vanilla flavored and then just plain flavored. So this is like the cheapest you can get for plain Greek yogurt. Um, yeah, so the carbs are just a lot lower on the plain. And then I'll get vanilla too to mix in with it. So I kind of do half and half. All right, so I'm gonna go with this triple zero stuff because it has 10 grams of fiber in it and it has the lowest um, carb to protein ratio. So compared to this stuff, let's see. This has 29 grams of carbs, this other stuff. And this triple zero has 23 to 22 grams of protein. This only has 17 grams of protein. Um, the Walmart brand has 29 grams of carbs and 19 grams of protein. So, yeah, I'm gonna go with this triple zero stuff. All right. But this is what I use. The plain is what I use for the protein cheesecake. So next is the cream cheese and I just use one fat-free cream cheese for the whole cheesecake. So in my opinion, the best crust to get is the shortbread crust compared to like, I don't know, the graham cracker. I don't know. I like this the best. <sighs> Got a snag. Some more rice cakes and white cheddar. The best kind. So I'll get a couple of these. Stock up. The key to when you're dieting is these carbonated water. I cannot talk today. Carbonated waters. So I'm gonna grab a couple of these. Pineapple, coconut. Zyances are awesome. Very underrated, but I think they're so good. And uh, they have like, what is it? 88 milligrams of caffeine per serving. So there's two servings in here. So yeah, good amount of caffeine. Yeah, I like these. Still love Monster, but these are good. cooking in the oven and like I showed in the video 
Um, I first put it in for 20 minutes at 340 degrees. I don't know where I came up with these numbers, like degrees wise. Um, it's just what works, what I do every time. And then after the 20 minutes, um, I put it in for about an hour and I I make sure it doesn't like overcook because then it just uh, it gets hard and it's gross. Um, so yeah, about an hour at 220 degrees. Um, and then after it's done cooking, I put it in the fridge until I want to eat it later. And personally, I think the longer it sits in the fridge, the better it tastes. So in the pie, there's eight total slices. And per slice, it is 177 calories, 18 grams of carbs, 15 grams of protein, and 5 grams of fat. So pretty solid macros there. And also, with the ingredients, um, you can pretty much alter the recipe any way you want. I just make it this way um, to be lower in carbs to just fit my macros. But you could do full fat cream cheese, half fat, no fat whatever you want to do there and with the Greek yogurt you can get vanilla any type of flavored yogurt you really want and as far as like the protein you can really use any type of protein I just used what I had on hand and the egg whites I use my cake batter muscle egg just because again that's what I had um, but usually I just use a egg beaters or you can use whole eggs you, you can really alter it any way you want I think that's all the ingredients, yeah, so it's a simple recipe with few ingredients. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little recipe video, and I'll show you guys later a little taste test of the cheesecake, but I'm sure it's going to be great. Alright, so here is the cheesecake out of the oven now. Just took one slice out, just kind of show you guys what it looks like. So yeah, I'll be having this later, let you guys know how it is. Guys, it is time for the cheesecake taste test. Yep, really good. Try this out, guys. Let me know how it is. Alright, I'm out. Thanks for watching.